What's going on, Squirrel Squad? Welcome back to the Halo Squirrel YouTube channel. I know, I know, I know. I'm not wearing a hat. Someone's going to pull it out right away, so I might as well point it out myself. It is so damn hot. So damn hot. It's still, it's it's 11 o'clock at night. It's like 88 degrees outside. There's not much reprieve in the house. We have a couple of AC units in the upstairs for the bedroom so people can sleep at night. Uh, we got, uh, I can't have one in the office, old house. We're blowing fuses. It's a it's a wreck here. <laughs> so I had to take the hat and not wear it tonight because it's just too hot. Throughout the summer, I'm just going to go back and forth with the hat, I think. It's, it's okay. <laughs> I had a few minutes for myself with it. I was like, no, it's okay. Anyways, it's uh, Mitchell Web Monday, and it's the uh, Underdog Cricket movie. This is Lazy Writers. And uh, I guess this Lazy Writers was a series I, looked, series I looked up, and there's a few different kinds of ones named Lazy Writers. So I'll maybe start. Oh, what can I know? Anyhow, if it's your first time here, uh, this is our uh, comedy reaction on Monday, and we do a little bit of everything, some you know, culture, sports, whatever. And I have two other channels. I have uh, Helix Scroll Down Under, where I'm looking into the UK. I'm sorry, this is the UK. I'm looking at Australia. Down Under doesn't make any sense for the UK, right? What's that? And then uh, the other side of Squirrel, which is um, where. I uh, listen to music, all genres, all kinds, everything. Right now, we're doing a lot of Angelina Jordan, which is absolutely amazing. This girl's un unbelievably good. Um, so I usually talk about it, and then we listen to the whole thing. I listen to music uninterrupted. I do not interrupt the songs when I do my music uh, my music reactions. And then on the other side, ah, get it? Uh, we talk about it a little more, and then uh, we end the video. Yeah, anyway. See, I've talked enough. Let's go. Let's, let's stop. Well, the important thing when writing a sports movie is not to get too bogged down in the so-called rules of the sport. Yeah, I mean, this was our first film writing project, so initially we didn't really know where to start. I suppose we just started typing. Yeah, and, and luckily there's this pop-up in Microsoft Word that says, it looks like you're trying to write a heartwarming British underdog movie. Would you like some help? And then you just have to enter the character names and the context. So we put Wimbledon, but then it popped up. There is already a heartwarming British underdog movie called Wimbledon. Are you sure you want to replace it? So then we had to think again. And in the end, we almost deliberately went for a sport that no one knows much about. Well, almost deliberately, because as it turns out, some people know quite a lot about cricket, unlike us. Yeah. <laughs> in a time past... It's a nice interview to be doing. One guy's in the bathtub smoking cigarettes while the other guy's taking a dump next to him. And we're up to the nuclear power plant. Hope in a world gone to crap. One man had an idea. Here, look, lads. Look what I've found. Calm down, Arthur. There's no point getting excited about anything. The steel mine's closed and we're on the scrappy. It's official. No, but look. Earn big pounds playing cricket. Well, it sounds fine, Arthur. But cricket, here in Yorkshire, don't talk soft. Did I hear someone say cricket? <laughs> That's a word I've not heard in a long time. What would you know about cricket? I only used to coach the Manchester United team. <laughs> the year they won the European Cricket Cup. But to us, you, you seem like some mad old drunk. That's the other thing about me. Apart from knowing about cricket. Not mad old drunk. It was the ashes. I could have won them, but I bowled a wide. It looks like Chris Elliott. You know what Chris Elliott is, that's what it looks like. <laughs> you bowled a wide in the ashes final? How can you live with your sen? <laughs> I know! Enter the ashes, you lot. You're taking the piss. Why not? <laughs> Arthur's a dab and with a silly mid on, and Pete can do follow ons like no one's ever seen. Come on, let us enter. We got stumps in us blood. Oh, you won't be talking like that when you have to face the West Indies in the second round. They've won the Ashes every year since they beat the Dallas Cowboys in 1978. <laughs> well, we'll just have to practice our catching and throwing and penalties and that. It's so narrow, it's perverse! Ah! 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 
first rule of cricket. Never call the bat narrow. What the bat is, is very, very wide and very, very short. Wow. Now, carry on bowling and try and do that thing with your hand and your wrist where you make it bounce funny. Welcome to the 200th World Ashes Cricket Cup between West Germany and Pisswiddle Steel Batters from Pisswiddle in Yorkshire. Pisswiddle. Well, the Pisswiddle team, very much the underdogs, but anyone who saw them beat Yugoslavia at cricket in the semis by 400 wickets to seven runs, all of it for eight, will know that they're not to be underestimated. And West Germany, famously a bunch of cheats. As ever. <laughs> I love other the commentators too. and it looks like we're about to lose. I want to tell you a story. Oh, here we go. I knew a young man who had a dream. A dream to win the Ashes. That young man was me. But he bowled a wide and became a drunk. That is, I bowled a wide and became a drunk. So don't do that! Now it's your turn Don't to be that. the team that stands in pairs with the bats rather than the ones in a sort of spread out crowd chucking it around. <laughs> so make the most of that. And remember, there's no such thing as a draw in cricket. Now we'll just go for a month and a half till we end it. It's okay. <laughs> Little boys really can cricket. What a run. Okay, touch, touch. This summer, from the location manager of Billy Elliot and the catering staff who brought you the full Monty. Yes! Remember what they taught you! No! No, not that! I was wrong! Featuring someone who was very nearly in Brassed <laughs> Off comes a film to touch the child in all of us, <laughs> but not in that way. and sandwiches onto the pitch. They think it's tea. It is now. And this is for the ashes. <laughs> I can't believe they've done it. They've actually done it. In cinemas this summer, the full number of overs that are scheduled to be bowled that day. And remember, lads... It isn't over until the full number of overs that is scheduled to be bowled that day have been bowled! It's June 25th. Oh, man. If you're not sure that I know what I'm laughing at, I've got uh, the ins and outs of cricket on the wall. You can't see it that well from that angle. Maybe this angle. Here it is. Ta-da! Hmm? Hmm? See? <laughs> Oh, man. Uh, that was kind of cool. It was like a little mini movie. It reminded me of cool run-ins, actually. But, um, yeah, that was uh, Lazy Writers. Looking forward to some more of these Lazy Writers episodes. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed that. Tell me what you think in the comments below. Was this one of your uh, secret favorites of uh, Mitchell and Webb or what? You know, not sure. But uh, here we go. We're going to put this out and see how uh, Monday goes. I hope it goes good. I'll catch up with you guys soon. I'm going to try to just put a couple things out this week because I'm hoping – to be able to bank a couple things for next week because I'm on vacation for like nine days starting this Friday. Oh, man. Scroll up. 